Morning folks. Uh, sorry about the noise as and when and the builder's radio, it's coming through the floor. Uh, right, what should we do? Uh, right, well let's start with the basics. Colour, the cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, paint grey, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre. That's my usual palette. I mix all my greens with the three primaries or Payne's Grey and the Cadmium Yellow Pale. And more than enough uh, range, more than a big enough range for all colours. Uh, now, this is a piece of uh, acrylic oil paper suitable for both. There we are, Pablo. A4. I've got a mount that's that size. It's good stuff, but the, the texture is a bit. Uh, well, it's okay. This is it's about nine by twelve, and that's how I've, I've got it taped to my board. I shouldn't expand. Uh, so that's I'm right-handed, so it's easy for me to rock. So I'm going to do a rocky scene, a rocky coastal scene. Something like that. And then we'll make something of all that there. And we'll have the sea. Uh, uh, come across there. So a couple of rocks here. Now I'm going to use this number 10 brush. This is a, I'm going to try and do one brush oil paint here on the small scale. So you can't do detail with this, you can only sort of make marks. And it's a good exercise for two reasons. One of the, the colour mixing, keeping it simple with just a few colours. And using a large brush, which means you can't fiddle. Which is the bane of uh, the artist is fiddling, going too far with it. Uh, right, okay, so let's have a nice bright sky. I've got a bit of dryer in this, the Winton dryer. It does soak in a little bit, but it's, uh, I don't believe it's durable. Okay, so that's uh, the start, it gives us something to work on. Let's have a I won't do the sea, the horizon yet, or shall I? A good, a good colour is a yellow ochre and a ultramarine. Got a nice sort of greeny colour. It's a bit of white. You can see the grain of the uh, paper now. Uh, let's go a bit light on that. It's got blue sea. Right, that looks like it's going uphill a little bit. Right, okay, go down a little bit. Oops. Well, whatever you put down, you can change. I like the challenge of uh, keeping paintings as simple as possible, impressionist. I'm not one for detail anyway, I'm not uh, skilled at it. It's not what I really want to do, it's, it's just creating an impression. Uh, right, now my, my stock cloud colour is a bit of burnt sienna and, and a bit of white. Uh, let's get that in here. Just a, just a touch. If you're a bit concerned about painting on white, you can always tint it with a bit of acrylic paint. The 
because the thing with, with painting, if you're a beginner, with painting on a white surface, is that whatever you put on it, is it looks too too dark by comparison with the white. So you tend to overcompensate for for that by going lighter, and then you end up with a picture that is insipid light. Some more some white on there, but you don't want white clouds. You want you want uh, a bit of cream. Okay, a bit, bit of drier just to make it flow a bit. Could put some paints grey in a minute on the uh, for the clouds. I'll keep it clean. I just I just clean the brush through the toweling, not the toweling till the end, and then I can wash it with uh, washing up liquid to clean it. And the paint just falls out of it, and you clean your hands at the same time. And so all nice and soft. Okay, so bit of bit of paints grey. Could put a touch of blue in there. Just blend it a little bit. I'm thinking of Cornwall here, Watergate Bay, or the you know those who've been to Watergate Bay are very lovely. In Cornwall, North Cornwall, near Newquay. That's a bit of red in there, see what that does. We're having a, a new a, a, a WC and bathroom knocked into one, but it's all knocked into one now. And it's just all the preparation work before the plaster ball goes up. Uh, window, new window. All right. Uh, we're going to get some light in there now. Not, not white, it's just that tint. that nice and cream there and just bring it over the sea I bring the sky into the sea and the sea into the sky it reads more it re reads better than, than having a stark horizontal line
Right, that blue is a bit insipid, but so let's uh, just change it a bit. Oh, I think those darks are dark enough now, these clouds. I just want to put some, some impasto in there now. Get some movement. Right, okay, I think we'll uh, leave that. Now we'll go into the... the uh, Into the into this bit here, then oh, into the cliff. Soften. All right, okay. Now um, the uh, the cliffs in Cornwall, they're, but they're in Walsh are very friable. You know, that they just are very crumbly, are very high, and they've got some some growth, some uh, plant growth. So let's do that. Should be a Payne's grey. Let's see what we can come up with. Bit of dryer. And then we've got all sorts of uh, colours then. The strata and the crumbly stuff. Now we've got a Get some counter change in there. Let's just uh, change that. Now we can make that dark or light, lighter than that, but let's, let's lighten the sea, see up a little bit. So that's looking a bit too dark. I think we'll darken it. Let's have a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of Payne's grey. By way of contrast. A bit of warm grey, a warm colour. More paint, more dark, a bit of blue. Oh, we're spending a lot of rain today. There's quite a bit of pink in these some of these uh, colours, as I recall. I've been there many times. It's certainly been an impression. I'm working from memory here. Let's try. Let's try those uh, primaries. Bench of colour in them. Oh, I'm more, go for more dark now than there in here. Oh, 
Whoops, oh dear. Oh, let's put a, let's put a nice lock there. Plenty of sandy colour. Oh, the child is going mad in the old or the new bathroom or shower room. Good bath, a bit of the bath. Right, let's work on these rocks and, and this bit of sea now. Uh, some dryer. Could put those uh, rocks back. Now we want a bit of dark in there, so a bit of shadowy colour. Right, uh, got some brownie shaped rocks, let's just uh, detail some of this, well, detail. Those rocky bits, let's just get some light on them. Got a great guy doing all that work. I just had a yesterday lecture soon, put a new fuse board in for us. Didn't expect that, but uh, that's all done, done right. Uh, okay, I'm going to put some some white around or white surf in there now. Uh, I need to just clean that off a bit. Under the cloth, bit of, bit of paper, bit of vacuum grate to roll. I don't know if Lydia got this wrong, but we bought this roll about three weeks ago with 99p massive roll now it's one for three pounds <coughs> so whether it was just a lost leader to ten people uh, I'll, yes I need well, let's squeeze out I'm just using up some white some titanium white this is artist quality I was given loads of paints and stuff for a friend who packed up painting in fact of writing a book. Uh, probably a better writer than artist. 
mainly because she didn't persevere maybe. Uh, it's not being born with talent or... Well, there are always people better than you, whatever you do, but uh, it, 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 talent comes at the end, not at the beginning. Bit of surfy stuff coming out. coming out of here. My sea might be just a little bit too light now. But anyway, let's put it let's put it in those rocks. Quite quite tricky. You can't be exact with this. Give that impression that there's a lot going on here. We can put a bit of light on there. Alright, now let's, let's beef up this uh, sandy stuff. Now we've got some of this and all that wet, so we want some some of that. make something of that beef, but I don't want it too light here. Right, now, we've got light and we've got uh, all wet. So we've got clouds, reflecting in the water and we've got blue reflected in the, the wet sand. Now we've got so uh, always got a, a, a reflection with the, where you get those rocks, and I've never been really good at doing that because I'm not working from reference material. I can't correct myself, I just, but I prefer to make things up as I go along. And it's got a nice bit of sandy colour. Just brighten that up a bit.
We don't want to overdo the uh, the white in this. Now, so I, I could put some shadow under that, but it's a bit hit and miss with the size of this brush. So there we are. I can't do anything more to that. I'll uh, I'll just dismantle everything and move it over. Ooh, I will paint there. Let's just move it over there, there, middle, and get the mount. Uh, just about fits. We'll go up a little bit more. Let's go up to there. Ah, oh, well, it's not going to stay there, is it? Anyway, okay, we'll, we'll let that go. So, so there we are. We've got a got a nice, bright, busy sky. Bit of movement. Uh, we've got the the sky blending into the sea, not too brilliantly. Uh, but, uh, I will let that go. And I'm quite happy with the rocky shore. It uh, would be better if it was done with a painting knife, really, because you get that slabby mess with, with the uh, knives. But anyway, there we are. I hope you like that one, folks. I'll get this uploaded for you. Thanks for looking. Oh! Uh, I need to take... I'll push this up a bit, and then I can lower it, and then you can get it full on. There we go. Uh, probably if I lay it down a bit, yeah, I'll get a better feel of it. Ooh, of course. Let's hold this. Yeah. Well, there we are. So incoming, incoming tide. One brush, one brush oil painting, seascape. Okay. Bye bye.